Yo, what up? I'm gonna make this quick because I gotta wake up early, but I ain't made a video in a while. So tonight, not today, tonight we're gonna talk about why people talk so much, but they don't do stuff. I have a, I have a couple of theories, all right? The biggest thing for me is that I think people fall in love with the support that they get at the beginning of a project, at the beginning of anything. When you announce that you're starting something, everybody's on your side. You say, hey, I just downloaded Duolingo. I'm about to learn Spanish. Everyone's like, that boy's smart. I went to school with him. I knew he was going to learn another language. Everyone's clapping. Everyone's commenting like, I can't wait to see your progress, blah, blah, blah. Bro, you update your progress every week. How many, how many of those same people you think are going to be commenting on your stuff every week? They're not, bro. That's just not how it works. People stop caring. What does Derek care about? Like, I'm not talking to you. Like, I'm happy that you started. That's cool. What can I say after that, bro? Like, you get more support when you accomplish something big. And even then, people still really don't care, to be honest. Like, you, you're consistent for 30 days. That's cool. That's cool. 60, 90, 6 months. That's cool. Now, when you say, yo, I traveled to a different country, had full conversations, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, that's impressive. I'm on comment again because, like, I'm impressed. Everything in between that, it's like, what am I supposed to say, bro? Like, same thing if you start a business. Like, you start a business and everyone's like, yo, congrats, man. Like, you're a business owner. That's awesome. Blah, blah, blah. I knew you were going to own a business someday. You give me you give me entrepreneur vibes. I knew it. And, you know, when your business is in the red three months later, like, no one cares, bro. Like, no one's going to donate money to your business. A couple people might, but you get what I'm saying. No one cares. There's nothing to care about. It's not our lives, basically. So, people love that support. They love that, that little high they get from everyone supporting them they get all the likes and so every time you start something new you get that like if you say you're learning spanish today you get that if 30 days later you say i'm also going to take on german oh congrats i'm also going to take on portuguese but you never actually do anything in any of those you just keep saying i'm starting something so people change sports they change jobs they keep changing everything because you're looking for that you're looking for that feeling again from the beginning, but it's not the beginning no more, bro. It's not. The beginning is over. So if you're trying to find that same feeling from the beginning, you're lost. You're already lost. Okay? So like I said, once you accomplish something, again, some people are going to care. Ultimately, there's just not much to care about. It's not for us. It's for you. Like, my goals have nothing to do with your support. I love that you guys do support me sometimes, but if no one ever commented on my channel, if no one ever told me congrats on how much you've done in another language, and speaking another language, I'm gonna start learning Portuguese. Seriously, I am. I don't care if no one ever congratulates me for it because it's not for y'all, it's for me. And like I said, realistically, let's use Spanish for an example. You start learning, like I said, people congratulate you. Once, you, okay, like three months in, you're like, hey, I can say all these words. Puedo hablar en español. What are they supposed to say, bro? They don't even speak Spanish. They don't know if you're good or not, bro. And if you're talking to someone that's a native speaker, if someone speaks to me in English, bro, I don't care what kind of accent they have, I'm not impressed because I speak English. So I'm just like listening, to, I'm like communicating with them. I'm not like, where did you learn English at? That is amazing. I'm just like, oh, you're looking for the store? It's over there. I'm not like, hey, did you just start learning English three months ago? Congratulations. I'm really proud of you. No, bro. Like, I don't care. I speak English. So that's what you're dealing with. The people that you're going to be speaking to are not going to congratulate you unless you tell them, like, hey, I'm learning. Please congratulate me. Like, basically, if you're good, they're just going to think you're somewhat 
close to a native speaker so you won't get any congratulations the better you get the less congratulations you get because it's just like you're just normal now bro congrats that's dope right that's what you should be expecting if you build a business and you start making money you could post your first Hey, it's my first thousand dollar check, first million dollar check, bro. After you start making millions, I'm not about to keep commenting on your stuff, bro. Like, congrats on that twenty million. Congrats on that twenty one million. Like, bro, you're just rich, and I'm still poor. So, basically, like I said, stop doing it for other people. Your goals, everything that you do, needs to be for you. That sounds really cliche and corny, but it's just true. Like. If you do stuff for other people, you're always going to be disappointed, like straight up. It's just the truth. Whew, man, it's hot in here. So, I started a new job. I work really early in the morning, like 6 in the morning, but I got to get up at 4.30 to drive to that job, right? So, uh, that's why my content has been a little off lately. I haven't haven't found the right time uh, to make content at, but... If you're still listening, like I said, I'm going to start Portuguese, right? And the one thing that I didn't do when I learned Spanish was that I didn't document everything. So now that I speak well, I can't convince people that I wasn't good at the beginning. Because I only started recording stuff when I was like six months in or something like that. And they're like, oh, well, that was still pretty good. And so, like, I can't show people when i couldn't say anything like i couldn't form sentences i couldn't understand stuff like that stuff just doesn't exist anymore or it never existed besides in my mind and the experiences that i had on whatever and so what i want to do for portuguese is i want to document everything everything possible that's not just like a, a super hassle for me So I want to do monthly update videos like from month one all the way up until a year or two whenever I feel like super comfortable to the point that it's not a thing anymore. I want to do some kind of documentation of the hours that I put into it because that's another thing with Spanish. Like I didn't record. I didn't record anything. man. I just do it on a daily. I just talk to people, natural conversations and stuff like that. But I want to try to like roughly estimate how much time it takes me to get to a certain level um so that maybe i can be a little more helpful to people that are trying to learn i want to tell people like this is roughly how many hours i put into it and at this many hours like i was able to start having conversations and like this many hours from this resource and this much music this many tv shows so any kind of data that y'all can think of that you might care about or want to know if you're learning another language let me know and i'm going to try to compile everything that i can and decide what's reasonable and if it's reasonable i'm going to uh i'm going to try to document everything possible for portuguese so that i can like make a a more detailed video because you know i have my, my spanish videos but i'm always just like sorry guys like i was just talking to people like i don't know what to tell you so I want to get a little bit more uh, detail with this. Also, if you want to learn Portuguese, start at the same time as me. Officially, I have not started yet. I'm thinking about starting next week or maybe in January. I haven't decided yet, but I haven't really compiled everything and started learning yet. So if you're interested, we can make a, a group a group chat or something like that and like keep each other accountable share resources um if you've never learned another language before i can give you some tips on making that process way easier if you have learned another language before um then we can swap ideas or i don't know help each other facilitate the process anyways it's late i gotta get up early thanks for watching the second half of this video had nothing to do with the first half sorry if you got all the way here i wasted your time have a good night peace